This is the salt roasted beet tartare. I already dug into it because I was super hungry. And it's very good. The beet is nice and sweet. And then they, it looks like they have uh, pickled vegetables with some capers and onions. And that saltness is like a nice pair to the sweet beet. Mm. I decided to go with the frozen rusty nail cocktail, which is basically chai tea and whiskey. And a little chocolate nail. And this is good, it's like light, refreshing, kind of cleans the palate, but you can still taste that whiskey, so it's good. <laughs> in country, and alcoholic. <laughs> it's dark chocolate, I think. <laughs> so how would you rate the beets that you just had? Yeah, so the salt roasted beet tartare, I'd probably give it a, probably like three and a half. Maybe four. Yeah, maybe four out of okay. five. It was good. The blue corn uh, pupusa, okay. the fruit mousse, Anything else? Um, and the uh, um, coconut passion fruit smoothie. Smoothie? Yeah. You be yeah, that's all. All right, it's going to be 24, All right, so this is the passion fruit mousse. Ooh. It's very vibrant, pink. I'll just try this, it's a little hard. Mmm. Delicious. Good. <laughs> this is really good. Tastes. Light, it's tarty. Mm hmm. Come on now. Next is the blue corn pupusa. Mmm. A little salty. A little spice. Fresh because of the cabbage. Mmm. This is like great all together. This is the coconut and passion fruit smoothie. We're taking this cup home. <laughs> That's refreshing. That's really good. It's kind of like dull with. Okay. Alright, this is the chilled seafood cocktail. Octopus, scallops, and shrimp. Mm. Very beautiful. Let's try the scallop first. Mm. Mm, it's chilled. It's seafood. There's a little spice. Okay. Tasting the spice, it's okay. I'm from New England, so we've had better scallops before. <laughs> so what would you rate this from 1 to 5? I mean, the plating is beautiful, but I'd probably give it probably three and a half. Okay, so the passion fruit mousse, I give that a five out of five. The blue corn pupusa, I give that a four out of five. It was really good. Then the chilled seafood cocktail. The shrimp was good. I wasn't a fan of the octopus, but you were, right? Yes. Um, I would give that maybe two. Two out of five. So this one is the orange cake. The orange cake looks very pretty. You wanna see that cut in there? It's different, but it's good. What flavors do you taste? All of it. Cinnamon, orange, chocolate, mousse. <laughs> Subtle, good. It's Sweet. good. I would, I would actually give this a um. I should a three out of five. Nice. And I think that's like chocolate or something or fondant. I don't know. This is a roasted rack of lamb with baba ganache. Looks very beautiful. Plating looks good. And looks cooked well. Gonna get some of these tomatoes. Some of this ganache. Mmm. 
You can taste the pomegranate. You can taste the lemon, tomato, all of it coming together. So all of it together is good. Very good. Lamb's well cooked. Mm -hmm. That pomegranate is just amazing. This pomegranate right here, that's just so nice. I'd probably give it probably four stars. Mm -hmm. How about your beer? What'd you get? Mm, so I got the um, 1906 Reserva Especial Dark Amber Lager. It smells like a nice lager. Yeah, tastes like one too. It's good. Good with the lamb. I think that's perfect. Sushi down there. Good. Sake. Mm. I like the sake more. Really? Yeah, you can taste like, you know, it tastes like a rice sake. Really good. Sushi is sushi, but it's very beautiful. What do you, um... Probably like a three, it's average. Hi, this is a sushi donut. Had this last year. After eating almost everything, I'm going to have to update those stars. So it's a three out of five. We've been to Japan, so it's kind of hard to uh, please me. <laughs> and um, husband was telling me to change my review, but you know, I tasted the tuna, and it actually was not that good. Red wine, birthday. I would say, actually, I think it's good. I would say four out of five. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. Not really my cup of tea. From the Painted Panda, and this is the Old Shanghai Sizu Pao um, pork and water nut chest and water chestnut meatballs, served with taro root. So, I mean, visually it looks great. Visually, it looks stunning. <laughs> it looks the meatball is very big, obviously, <laughs> which is the first thing I noticed. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit of this taro root. I'm going to get a little bit of the reduction or whatever they have here. Looks very good. Meatball looks cooked well. Reduction looks nice and smooth. Mm. Mm. Good meatball. Cooked well. Um, I think it's good. The, um, the taro root is a nice little like refreshing kind of light addition to the meatball. The meatball is very bold, yet subtle in flavor, so I, I kind of like it. It's not, over, it's not overpowering, but it kind of complements all of it together. So I'd probably, I'd actually probably say this is probably four stars out of five. Really? Yeah, and you know I'm a pretty hard critic and that's, that's actually very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he gave this a four out of five, which is bizarro. This thing is super bland. Uh, I would say two out of five. Need some salt. I don't know. It just wasn't great. It was very upsetting. But at least he liked it. Four out of five. Uh, I mean, who tastes buzzer are you gonna trust? So we have the sea butterfly here, and it's butterfly pea flower infused cocktail with lychee, lychee syrup, vodka, light rum, and magic boba pearls. Look at that. Let's try this out. You know what though? It's moving very 
He's very alcoholic. <laughs> Uh, one out of five. So this is a deconstructed cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. You get a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. It's kind of harder than it looks. Together is really good. That's really good. I will give that four out of five. This is the rain boba. I can't really smell it. It's um sparkling water <laughs> with the fruity bobas. Exactly what it says. I would say if you like sparkling water that you should get this. Um, I'm not really a huge fan. I would say maybe then this is a 2 out of 5. This is the new s'mores at the caramel place in Germany. I think, right? This is Germany? Okay. This is it. You probably can't really see it, but Looks like just graham crackers and a marshmallow, but let's see what it tastes like. You want to hear that crunch? Hmm? It's okay. <laughs> I think I give it a, um, because I've had the s'mores at um, Disney Springs, that one's really good. I have the ganachery. So this one, I was trying, I was holding it to that kind of expectation. Alright, so this is the Beef Wellington. You know, so we've been to Gordon Ramsay, so... <laughs> you know, we've had a real Beef Wellington, so let's see what this tastes like. I'm actually very curious. I'm just gonna take a big bite. Here you go. That's good. Um, they all just pair very well together. And I have had the Gordon Ramsay real beef Wellington. So, with that being said, I would say this is about a three out of five. This one is this pan seared scallop. There's a Parmesan crisp and some some a coulis on the bottom. You get one seared scallop. Okay. It's not really that easy to. There we go. Alright. Mm. That's okay, but you only get one scallop. I don't know if that's really worth one scallop. It's okay. I, I, I would give this, um,. Probably two out of five. <laughs>